All right, we're here today at the running event, first appointment of the day. Excited to talk with the North Face about what's coming in 2023. We're here with Brett Rivers from North Face. Brett, what do you do uh, at the company? And uh, and then walk us through maybe one of the first shoes or, or what we can expect in 2023. Right on. I'm uh, Brett Rivers, uh, Senior Global Category Manager for Performance Footwear at the North Face. I've uh, been at the brand since 2019. Uh, so here to show off the new uh, Spring 23 and Fall 23 lines of trail running uh, performance footwear uh, from the brand. Very Spring cool. 23 uh, marks the launch of our Summit Series uh, line of footwear. So what we had with the Flight Series before, it's being updated. Everything's being rolled under Summit Series and the Flight Vective is now really kind of just getting split into uh, two new styles within the Summit Series line. Awesome. Uh, so very much uh, athlete tested race proven footwear. Okay, yeah, we're very excited about some of the stuff. I know Taylor, our lead trail reviewer here at Believe in the Run, uh, has spent some time in some of the shoes, so yeah, uh, I, know, I know you're excited about it for sure. Um, yeah, this, just the whole series is gonna be one of the most exciting ones for the whole year. Um, just kind of coming off of an exciting year anyways, it would be up there with any of the shoes that we've tested so far, so. Yeah, I mean, you had some awesome performances this year in, in some of the prototypes of the shoes, so I think we're all excited to see what we what's going on, so let's get into it. Right on, let's dive right. into product. So, yeah, the marquee shoe uh, within the Summit Series range of footwear is the new Summit Vective Pro. Comes out in January 2023, retails for $250 but really obsessed all the details of this style. So starting with the upper, you have a dual layer TPU mesh. It's super bomb proof, uh, but it's also incredibly breathable, reinforced in the right areas. But it's also what's really important when thinking about ultra running and, and athlete performance footwear is that it's hydrophobic. So it's not gonna hold any water weight. Okay. So, you know, again, the athletes are going through river crossings, stream crossings, running in snow, sure. uh, in adverse conditions. Uh, <laughs> what you went in a trail. Exactly. Yeah. And we, you know, really wanted to focus on something that would perform uh, in all those conditions, not weigh a runner down every time they're going sure. through a stream crossing. So really uh, amazing mix, um, um, it, you know, in the upper with that integrated tongue. So they're going to wrap the foot really well, really lock you into that instep. We've opened up the fit uh, on, on these styles. So you have, you know, more, more room in the toe box, really allow for that four foot splay yeah. um, while still being, you know, locked in in the, in the instep. Step, that comfort that you need, not just at mile five, but mile 55 and mile 95. Right. So talk to us, I see some carbon fiber elements here. So talk to us about what's going on with that. Yeah, the main stuff is below the foot. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, so it's an update to our Vective technology. Uh, so you have a full length 3D carbon fiber plate. Uh, we've now forked that design. So it's forked in the forefoot okay, and it's forked sure. in the heel. And what that's gonna do is gonna offer more lateral displacement. The, the full length plates in the Gen 1 Vective line, they were very stable up to a point and then they got a little bit tippy and and our athletes really wanted more lateral displacement especially on technical I training. think that was one of the issues we have with the original correct totally yeah with the rigid plate it was great until it wasn't yeah um, but having run in this a lot you can feel those elements you were talking about with the fit and they really play well with the underfoot technology. It's performance driven for sure. Yeah, and you spent a lot of time in uh, earlier, not, was it the production version? or It the, was a prototype version. Okay, prototype so it was version. Yeah. Protos that our athletes actually raced UTMB. And you had a pretty enjoyable experience so far in it, right? Yeah, okay. it's, um, if I was gonna choose a race day shoe now, for almost any race, this oh. would this would be the <laughs> one. Too. So they didn't pay. For says this. a lot. No. They didn't pay, <laughs> for, pay for that. But, but it, I mean, it says a lot. a big honor. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. Um, yeah. So keep let's keep going with this. Uh, what what kind of phone we got here in the midsole? Yeah. So and that's really where this shoe I think stands out. It's a new proprietary uh, blend to the North Face. It's a mix of P backs and high rebound EVA. Right on. And that blend, what it's going to do, it's going to give a lot more durability uh, to that P back foam. It's full length. So that combined with the plate is gonna offer just incredible rebound and responsiveness, even though you have so much cushioning below the foot. So talking to Katie Scheid, the women's winner yeah. uh, of the UTMB uh, this year, who was uh, in this shoe, his actual shoe from the race uh, that she wore. That's awesome. Um, you know, it said, 
you know, recapping with her afterwards, the shoe really saved her on the long downhill sections toward the, the latter half of the race, nice. into the race where she could really still keep that turnover going. Yeah. Even though she was fatigued, it was just really that cushioning and the rebound. Yeah, and another big part for me was that the placement of the rocker is a little bit different, is that right? Yeah. It's still, updated rocker it's shape. very, um, very, very noticeable, especially on downhills. But yeah. It's I mean, and that's the thing, it's, you know, with the lines, we wanted them to be joyful to run, even though it's like race, you know, uh, concept is race footwear and ultra race, ultra distance racing footwear. Yeah. Still want it to be super fun and super enjoyable. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. if you're going to be out running, you know, for 24 plus hours, <laughs> right. you want to be having a good time regardless. Definitely. Um, and so it's really just super fun to run. And so getting to run downhill uh, in these shoes is, yeah. is bananas. I also awesome. appreciate the uh, alpha fly-ish laces here. Yeah. Always a nice touch. The serrated lace, it yeah. stays tied. Um, yeah, I mean, we, again, it's like obsessing the details, obsessing the collar shape, you know, where we were placing, uh, uh, you know, certain amounts of foam in the heel cup, things like that, you know, yeah. really, really, you know, looked at uh, all the small details of the shoe. Now, and I believe the, the prototype version we had didn't have this little structured support elements, uh, uh, or did it? It I did, yeah, okay. it, it did, yeah, right. and, and we've updated that uh, a hair from the version that you guys okay, had okay. Uh, to really allow um, on those protos, uh, allow this plate to sit down even better right, okay. um, in the shoe. So, so how, again, is, how is how are these pieces connected right here? Like, so it's a full it's a full length plate. Okay. So um, I I have a, a carve out that you guys can can uh, check out okay. as well. Um, but it's it's extending you know from heel to forefoot the 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 plates on the lateral sides the lateral and medial sides. Uh, this wing is wrapping down. Oh, gotcha. Okay, um, okay, okay. And what that's gonna do you know with this softer foam. Uh, it's still going to give incredible stability. So yeah. the Vective system is really tuned for the demands of trail running. Cool. And that's why we placed the plate directly below the foot. Uh, and again, you know, with this higher stack style, why well, I worked the new these wings down uh, the midsole as awesome. well. So really iconic, unique design. Very cool. All right, let's move on. Let's, what do we got um, next? The Summit Vective Sky. So I'd say this is a little more of a closer to a direct replacement of the Flight Vective in terms of that kind of mid-stack style. Still built for the demands of ultra distance racing, though also a popular shoe for vertical Ks and, and everything, you know, okay. on up to 100 mile distance yeah, yeah. Uh, from our athlete team as well. So, for example, you know, a lot of our athlete team at UTMB chose to race in the Summit Vective Pro. Certain athletes, Caitlin Gerben, who's here today, uh, chose to race in the Summit Vective Sky. Um, it's really just because she prefers a more of a mid stack height okay. shoe. So, again, still yeah. enough shoe uh, to handle the distance. And actually, uh, I forgot to ask. What's the stack height on the Vective Pro, and then what is it on the Sky as well? 32 millimeters in the heel here, and 23 millimeters in the heel okay, here. Okay, and drop, do you have drops? Uh, six millimeter drop, okay. and four millimeter okay, drop. Okay, right on. So okay, Pro is gotcha. six millimeter drop, the Sky is four gotcha, millimeter Gotcha, gotcha, okay. And I see we have like a ripstop mesh upper, at least some part of it, and then a get more like same open mesh up here. Yeah, so you have that dual layer TPU uh, mesh in the forefoot, and then you nail at a ripstop uh, mesh with an integrated tongue uh, okay, cool. on the sky. Again, designed to have that sock like fit really keep locked out, in. To keep do out stuff. the debris. Exactly. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, right on. Precisely. Um, so, really locks you in. Slightly offset uh, lace um, on this one as well. And then, again, that, that full length carbon fiber 3D plate. So, it's extending up around the foot yeah. um, a bit. That forked design. We just don't, uh, in this height, didn't need to have those lateral uh, right. medial wings extend down sure, the midsole sure. as well. Yeah, and I'm sure, like, obviously that provides a little more stability and that higher stack of foam with the p back blend. Is this also a, a – is this EVA or is this p Yeah, so okay. this is a new high-rebound EVA right uh, for okay. the brand. So, uh, again, it's going to be a, a little more precise and technical train. We are putting a 4-millimeter p back drop in uh, under the ball of the foot. Oh, okay. So it's going to lighten it up a little bit, give it a little bit of a responsiveness yeah, up yeah. in the forefoot area. Um, so you do have uh, a, a dual-use purpose with that as well. Okay, cool. And then what uh, – I was going to ask price on this one. One ninety nine. One ninety nine. So we're, we're kind of replacing that that position of the flight deck sure. price wise. As and well. would you position this as also like a race day option? I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah definitely. I mean, that was the, the the concept with this was again knowing that the flight vector wasn't perfect for the entire athlete team in terms of different types of races that they're going yeah. to look to do. Uh, 
uh, and just the different types of runners that we have on the team, we really felt like we needed to kind of split that into positions, something much higher cushion and something that, again, still well cushioned, but more in that mid stack. Sure, uh, sure. Stack high. And then I, I didn't get the release dates on these. You have any? January 2020. January? Oh, yeah. we're coming up. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Close. Yeah, <laughs> uh, really close. Awesome. So, yeah, so that's the new Summit Series line. Do you want to okay. see the new Infinite? In, yeah, let's bust it out. Yeah, yeah. The other two big updates uh, coming in January 2023 are the new Vectiv Infinite 2. Uh, 169, uh, okay. saying the same price as, as the original Vective Infinite. Uh, Increase the cushioning here a little bit, so have two millimeters more cushioning. Okay. Uh, and yeah. then, what, so what is the stack on that one then? Yeah, so it's a 20, 24 in 24. the heel. Okay, gotcha. Uh, six millimeter offset. Okay. You have a full length 3D TPU plate oh, in this okay. one. It's right. forked as well. And then you have a six millimeter P back drop in in the forefoot. Okay. So you have that same high rebound EVA foam uh, with that P back drop in. The other big update here uh, is to the outsole. So fi uh, oh, yeah, deeper yeah. five millimeter lugs. I like that. Really positioning this to have um, you know a little more of a, a, a rugged performance um, uh, nature to it, and just trying to provide more variety uh, within the Vectiv yeah. line as well. I mean, this is definitely pretty aggressive. Uh, yeah. It yeah, they dig into just about anything. Yeah, and I think they're spaced out enough so we'll clear the mud out of there. Like, exactly. Keep it clean. I yeah. like that. Yeah, nice. so, you know, really looked at what was that that right level of, you know, lug spacing, lug depth, lug, lug design yeah. um, to really, you know, excel on technical terrain. Yeah, when this Vective line came out originally, a lot of people saw it as, like, the, the Vective... Um, the Vective being the race day and then the Infinite being a little bit under that as a trainer, does it still kind of fit that niche or? Yeah, somewhat, something I different? mean, you know, it, it's gonna, I would say it, it's a little, I'd say more kind of broader consumer friendly, yeah. but still within this performance, you know, trail running collection. Again, we wanted to create some difference. The the two summit styles both have three and a half millimeter lugs. Yeah. Gonna keep the weight down a little bit, but still enough again for the demands of nearly any ultra. Mm -hmm. Here wanted to to thicken those lugs. Again, if an athlete we had an athlete who did a, a race in Scotland, won a race in Scotland in a prototype of this, and she said the traction was amazing, even though nice. it was like boggy and muddy okay. and you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, so again, it's like even from the athlete team, where the Summit Series is is, is, is briefed with the idea of racing in mind, yep. that still cascades down into the rest of the cool. line, gotcha. just with more variety based off of the needs of the athlete, or again being just more consumer friendly in terms of fit and price yeah, cool. um, in the and, rest of the line. And based on consumers in the past models, these two really sold maybe surprisingly well. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, want to keep you know investing. Uh, you know, in the infinite, really comfortable upper right out of the box, rip stop in that rear quarter to yeah. lock you in, tongue wings on everything that are going to wrap you really well, keep those tongues in place. Same thing on the new Endurance 3. And this is really, you know, that that um, consumer favorite uh, within the line. Uh, on our athlete team, it's like that that training day shoe where they just want an easy plush yeah. ride. Yeah. More open fit. I'd say it's our, our most open uh, fit, a, a higher volume D width, um, you know, on this. Cool. Again, 3D TPU plate, three and a half millimeter lugs, great for all kinds of surfaces. Yep, sure. Our grippy surface control rubber. I mean, this almost looks like a nice, decent road to trail option too, with a little more higher stacks and exactly. lower lugs. Yeah. Increase the cushioning here, so you have 30 millimeters in the heel now. Okay. Uh, but still, you know, again, smaller details. Those tongue wings, rip stop rear quarter to lock you in. Yeah. You know, 3D. Uh, uh, print uh, on the upper to really give structure uh, and durability. We, we joke uh, on the product team that uh, um, we like to put shoes through the Zach Miller test. If, you know, if, if anybody can I blow mean, out a shoe, it's going to be yep. Zach, and I say that lovingly. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, Zach couldn't blow out the Endurance 3, so that was a okay. very good sign That for is us. a very good yeah. sign, yeah, for sure. So can we get, what's the release dates and prices for, for these two? Yeah, so 149 on the Endurance 3 and 169 on <laughs> On the Vective Infinite 2, okay. uh, and they both release in mid-January. Okay, wow! So it's a line. yeah, the yeah. Full man, line we're updates. really throwing it all down there to start things out. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Um, and then I don't off the top of your head, do you know weights for these? Uh, this one's right around. Uh, uh, 
305 grams. Okay. Uh, do, 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 doing my metric conversion. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cannot compute. Right. All right. Uh, I'd say like 10.1 ounces. Okay. 10.2. Yeah. Um, I can confirm uh, some of this with right. you as That's well. Right. <laughs> this is uh, around the same weight. You need to get mad in here. 305 grams. Uh, yeah. Uh, around 285 grams on the Summit Vective Pro. Okay. And 265 on the Summit Vective cool. Sky. Okay. We'll do the conversion. Yeah. <laughs> Thank we'll, you. We'll do it on the fly. We're talking grams and centimeters. Uh, on the, uh, in the it's all right. We're in Texas. Yeah. The, the, there's the metric system doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, all right. So that's exciting. Yeah. I, I know you're obviously very excited. As yeah. I said, you've already run in some of these shoes. Um, so I think all in all, it's. I mean, it looks like you. You said that the Vector Pro would have maybe taken home best yeah. race day shoe this in year. In a big year, I think. For me personally. It, Definitely would have. It's the right level of uh, wild and feels performance driven, and it does have like the insteps locked down. There's some uh, good support. It's well, just, I think you'd want in a long race. Well, I think that's one of the issues maybe we had with some of the carbon plated stuff coming out that came out this past year is that it's hard to do the P backs on trails and yeah. get it to where you're not, well, Personally, I'm dying because yeah. I have terrible ankles. Um, so, hey, to get that stability mixed with the rebound, high rebound, and performance, so uh, it's exciting to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Again, you know, really obsessing it, heavily testing all kinds of different prototypes and iterations. Yeah. With our incredible athlete team having access, you know, to, to people who can rapidly give feedback, um, you know, is amazing for the brand. Yeah. I think, you know, something that you know is really powerful for the brand long term as well. Yeah, so, cool. you know, people like. Rob Carr, Caitlin Gerben, Zach Miller, Pal Capel, being able to for sure. you know test this stuff and, and give near instant feedback. Yeah, is it's very exciting. All right, well, Brett, thanks for uh, walking us through the shoes, and uh, that's the North Face right 2023 lineup. Yeah, All thanks, right. guys. Have thanks. a great show. All right.